What's happening YouTube? This is Bones98 here to do an e-liquid review of Epic Juice's Main Squeeze. A really interesting combination of fruity flavor along with menthol. It's something that I've not tried out of all the other e-liquids that I've reviewed as well as tried in my own spare time at the vape lounges or e-liquids that I've yet to review but I have owned and purchased before and used. Um, and it's also something that's quite suitable around this time, especially during summertime. Temperatures around here are about 95 to 105 degrees. And so I find myself vaping on this e-juice all day. This is actually a quite suitable e-juice for an all day vape. So if you're looking for something to vape throughout the day, and you're the type of guy who just never lets go of his PV, um, you might want to check out this e-juice. Throw it on it is not... It's not so pronounced compared to a lot of the e-juices out there, and the reason for it is because of the menthol flavors. The menthol usually tends to uh, mute the throat hit. That even goes with regular cigarettes. Whenever there's menthol involved, there's really no throat hit to it. Uh, but the experience comes from the menthol. I think it substitutes. Uh, the, the experience of the throat hit is substituted by the cooling effect of menthol. So that's I've taken into consideration of that. So I would say throw hit on it, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 because after all, I understand that menthols drown out, mute the throat hit. Flavor-wise, very interesting flavor. You got lemonade and you got menthol. On the inhale, you got a blast of lemonade. On the exhale, you get a nice cooling sensation of menthol. Um, I'm Judging by my experience with the e-juice, I'm thinking about trying something out in my spare time. Uh, if you haven't already, checked out my other review of Mountain Oak Vapor's Red Drop. Red Drop is a combination of limeade and raspberry. So what I'm thinking about doing is mixing e-juice from main squeeze with red drop about 50 50 and then add a couple more drops of menthol to it and see what i'll get i've yet to try it but i'm already thinking it's going to be an awesome awesome combination of flavors because it's going to have limeade lemonade raspberry and boom a blast of menthol so that's something really interesting that i'm really looking forward to trying out I have Red Drop on my uh, wish list. I actually have it in the shopping cart. It's ready to go to purchase. But I have some other reviews to do first. And I got to get me another bottle of Main Squeeze. And as soon as I do that, I'll put it together. And I'll review that. I'll review that combination. I'll even go over how I mix up the e-juice. It's not going to be anything too technical, too scientific. I'm not a chem major, so you're not going to see me with little utensils and syringes and telling you the actual dose. I'll pretty much just go by how many drops I put into a bottle and shake up and mix together in order to get that type of uh, uh, flavor. So flavor-wise, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Vapor production, here you go. Vapor reduction does pretty good. On a 3.2 volt device and with a standard res cardo, I have a 3.5 single coil, uh, 3.5 ohm single coil cardomizer with my tank, which is not really going to produce the best um, vapor production because, you know, having a high res cardomizer or standard res with, you know, the Ego, Ego C, you're not going to get so much vapor production. But I will be, you know, checking out some of the new drip devices, uh, drip atomizers, as well as the VV Nova tanks. They have a 1.8 ohm uh, atomizer head, which I really want to check out. I'm gonna put everything together. So when I'm reviewing that red drop and main squeeze, you'll actually see me. I even go over how to assemble them, fix them, set them up so that you can work them on your device, um, as well as the e juice. But yeah, vapor production on it is decent. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 simply because of the fact that I have to take into account that I'm using a higher resistance cardamizer with a 3.2 volt device, the Ego C, uh, which is actually, by totally wicked, they call it the Tornado C. So here you go.
longevity of the juice, it does pretty good. Uh, because it's hot right now, I've been vaping on this all day. I'm talking all day. I haven't put down my vape uh, for more than five minutes. I'm just vaping on all day. I'll be eating, hanging out outside, you know, chilling with my pets and, you know, reading and I'll be vaping on it. I'll be studying, doing my homework, doing my drawings, my sketches, and I'm still vaping on it. So 15 mil juice uh, for an average all day vape person would last you about five days. For me, it's been three, but still I have about four mils of juice left. So that's pretty decent, you know, 11 mils of juice so far in three days. It's pretty good. Uh, would I recommend this e-juice? Of course I would recommend it. It's something unique and it's something that I think not a lot of people have tried, at least in my case. Mostly people who have tried tobacco flavors, uh, gourmand flavors, some of the fruity flavors have yet to try something mixed with menthol. Uh, I've been vaping on menthol flavors for a long time and it's the first time ever that I've actually tried something where it would take something sweet and mix it all together with menthol. The closest thing I've come up with that would have been Mountain Oak Vapors Frostbite which is like a caramel tobacco mixed with a huge blast of menthol. But that's, that's at a completely different category considering that this is lemonade and menthol mixed together. So I definitely recommend that you guys check it out. If you have it at your local vape lounge, don't just go by the impression that you'll get uh, because a lot of vape lounges, they use old cartomizers. They have yet to clean them. They have yet to replace them. If you have the time, bring your device and if you have a drip device or a drip atomizer, try it out. Um, you'll most likely not regret it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. See you guys next time with my next review going to be on Johnson Creek's Bonda.